Hello, everybody. Um, let's see. The whole reason I was working on this area over here was because I wanted to start finishing the initial part of the layout because, I don't know, I was tired of looking at bare plywood. Then, so... Part of it is I had to build the roundhouse over here before I started scenicing everything, or at least figured out where the roundhouse was going to go. So I uh, so I kind of I made the front, and by the time I figured out, you know, how wide this needed to be make sure I had enough clearance for everything. That puts me three and a half inches from the edge of the turntable back here. And then, you know, this is, this is a nine inch, this is nine inches from here to here. And then the locomotives can hang over, you know, a little bit. So if you got a nine, if you got a locomotive that has longer than a nine inch wheelbase that can hang over, like this one, you need a roundhouse to be deep enough to, uh, to fit the locomotive. And I made this as kind of a test. For the, uh, for the roundhouse, you know, it'll sit like that. It's just, uh, Plastruct and Evergreen Styrene, and then the window is a uh, resin. It's a 3D printed resin. And um, it's, I don't know, it's a metal sided roundhouse. It's a, I was just building it to be different. I have plans for the Western Pacific roundhouse at Ketty. Or Kitty, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but I was going to take that and compress it down. Now it's 120 feet, which comes out to about 16 inches. But I need to compress it down to about between between 11 and 12. I'm looking at it. So when I measured everything out and figured out the math. That puts the wall way, way back here. Which, here's the line, and it's right next to the track. So, now, I'm going to have to take this whole area. And I've already moved it two inches. As you can see here, I think I'm going to have to move it another two. That way I can put a road. I want to have a road snake around the track here and then come around this way behind the roundhouse. And the far track, I'm just going to use as a, a garden track. And I'm going to have four stalls. Or that puts it here, then these will be garden tracks here. But if I'm going to take everything up and move it again, I wanted to put, I have this quarter inch plywood left over from making some drawers and uh, making some of those. Well, I only have one of them, but. To, uh, I want to put this quarter inch plywood under there because one, it's the same exact height as the as the uh, the turntable. The cork isn't quite high enough, and then the cork is is a. Uh, it's not glued down uniformly. It's kind of 
it's kind of come loose in a couple of spots. So I'm going to fix that issue since I'm going to have it all apart. But I also have, let's see, this in the back here. Because of, you know, design changes to the layout, the track. The track back there moved way too close to the edge, so I had to move it forward to have room for my industries and my industry track back here. So I need to add a couple inches to that. So that means I have to take this loose, and I got three ace bolts underneath here. So I gotta undo them and then move that out and then add the extension over there. And then I wanna add some masonite all the way down here to the end. Well, for these two, uh, well, it's an eight foot section and a six foot section. So, so I want to do that, and then, like this building here, there's really not, it's actually about a half inch away from the wall, and it's, it, the building doesn't quite fit, so I think I'm going to have to move all this out. You know, maybe the width of a three-quarter inch, you know, a one-inch board, which is, what, three-quarters of an inch. If I move it out three-quarters of an inch and then put the, and then put the masonite behind it, that will give me enough room. I might actually be able to push that um, industry back, track back a little bit more, because even though they're not hitting, even though they're not they're not hitting here. It's really tight on the clearance gauge. It just barely fits. So I think if I push that whole thing back like another three quarters of an inch, I think I'll be good there. But then once I get, well, once I at least figure out the footprint for the roundhouse and get everything moved, then I can start scenicing that area back there, and I can call this area complete now. If that makes any sense. <laughs> so, um, what else have I done? Well, I think I'm going to move. Let's see, I think I'm going to move. These buildings down here and use them as, uh, you know, so crews can uh, relax, you know, before they head back. This building here, this is was actually, it's a lifelike power pack. There was a, um, there was a, a power pack on the inside of here. And then where this comes up here, there was an antenna, you know, that stuck up so far that extended. And I have never, I've never actually seen, found any pictures of it on the internet. I don't know. I, it said lifelike on it. I know it, it was made by lifelike, but I've never actually seen the set that it came in or any advertising for it or if it was just like some knockoff one-off thing that they did but yeah i think i think these are going to end up just like this i gotta add some uh i gotta add some uh like chimneys and vents to the top of those but yeah i think those are that's where those are gonna go 
And then I have I have a house down there on the four by eight. But I, well, I made I made this little end scale shack. I made it in HO, but it wouldn't fit on my, it was too big to fit on the build plate for my um, printer. So I made it an end scale just to see if it would work, which it kind of did, but it didn't. So the walls aren't thick enough. I had to make them all thicker. But I thought this, it scaled out perfectly to be the size of like a child's playhouse. So I bought some tree. This is a woodland scenic tree. And I added some some stairs. And I'm gonna put this thing. I'm gonna put that right there. Kinda looks like a tree house. <laughs> so I've been working on that. I did put a light at it. And other than that. I haven't really been doing much of anything. To the layout, anyway. Oh, I've been buying... I've been buying some cars off of eBay back there. So, I like the old Tyco stuff. I, I like to collect that. I like to run the, uh, the, you know, Athern and the other cars, you know, with the body mounted couplers. They do run better, you know, for operation. But, you know, I grew up with Tyco. I like Tyco. If it wasn't for Tyco, I wouldn't be in the model railroad hobby right now. So that's, you know, that's why I like it. Let's see. Other. What else did I do? Alright, well, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.